guys. I was able to go on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to pick me up a new vacuum pump. Of course, I didn't care much for the idea of the box was open. He says it's brand new, so we're going to unbox this bad boy and find out. Well, taking it out of the package, out of the box, we got the oil reservoirs full of oil. Both of them are full of oil. There's the card, cord, and the instructions. Guess we'll uh, hook it up and find out, won't we? Good. The lights come on. I put the oil in there. There's a reservoir. This is your backup. All the hoses. So let's see if we can't figure out uh, a hose set up here if we can pull vacuum. All right. So we're gonna do this uh, little test on it. Hook her up. It's a straight. It's straight. So let's see how it works. <laughs> Going on 18 microns. Five hundred fifteen. <laughs> it must be good. Pull it down to 15, 12. I don't like that. How's it going back up? Make sure all these are tight. Why's it going back up? Hey, it, it pulled down a little bit of micron, so it is what it is. I wish I had a hose, but I don't have any attachments for you know, hooking up a hose or something. Let me dig around and see what I come up with. We got this uh, little tester here. Let's see how well this works out. Got a mini tank. Open up the valves. Let it route. Let's see if I can pull vacuum on that. I got the ballast open on it to let, bleed all that out versus going through my uh, oils. Little hose. You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on, so I'm gonna hook up my big gate, my big hose on this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's pulling it down. Let's hook up the big hose. I don't feel like painting this thing on this. It should suck in air here. I just want to see how. I just want to make sure we're uh, this thing's working properly. You know, before tomorrow. You know, it's Monday. That's funny. Now my micron gauge is reading. Oh, you goofy. It's reading 13,000. I, I think that valve is bad on that. On this right here. I think it's bad. Because when I was using it for uh, recovery and putting back in, it uh, didn't seem to want to let me have my juice back out of the can. Let's see if I got the right one here. Yeah. Put the big hose on, see what happens with it. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow, that's pretty quick. 9,000 already. That's pretty good. I think 
it should be moving a little faster though. Just my opinion. I mean, it is moving pretty quick. Don't get me wrong. It is moving pretty quick. Tighten the foot hose, tighten the foot hose. I'm at 23, 22, 21. Yeah, it's moving it down pretty freaking quick. I think anything's better than what I had. Cause I was using that old, old one down there in the corner right there. I mean, it worked all right. It's like an eight CFM. This is, uh, this is a six CFM. It's just a newer system. 900, 800. It's working pretty freaking good, man. Seven hundred. Yeah, that tank. That tank was. Uh, it's been wide open for a couple of days. I see how far down she goes. Just want to make sure this thing works properly, you know. Cause I got this as a $430 vacuum pump. I got it for 240 bucks. So he said something about buying stuff on a skid. I don't know. But I'm down to 430 now. That's pretty freaking quick, man. Of course, you gotta look at, you gotta think about this. This right here, this tank, it's a mini tank. I would say that this is probably the equivalency of 20 foot line set ish. You know, your square cubic inches. I'm at 360 now. I'll do a decay test on this real quick. That's got a little moisture in there. Not too bad. Creeping up a little bit. Open it back up. See how this little uh, VP67, it's not too bad. You see there's a lot of moisture in that. It's bubbling. So, cool thing about it is you, you can open this valve, dump the juice, put new juice in it, you know, while the thing's running. So if you get a bunch of crap in there, you can redo it. I'm down to 30299. That's pretty good, man. Shut this bad boy off. Do a DK test on it. 303. So you'll you'll moderate a little bit because you're boring that off and that's 300 psi so, or uh, micron. This is definitely a way to test your tanks. So it's at 300, it's micron, man, this, it's not a, so we'll go ahead and close these valves off. <clears throat> nice and tight. See, my micron gauge is still raising. I might have a bad seal on that bad boy. And then it goes out, so. Well, that's uh, one way to do a test on it. It seemed to work. So I know now that my back, my uh, recovery tank, my mini's got, uh, it can't hold a lot in there. It's a mini. It uh, it's good for removing the line set or moving the juice out of the line set. That's about it. It's actually a pretty freaking good hose. That's a pretty nice hose, man. I've wanted one of these forever. By the grace of God, I was able to get one. With my job, I it pays me pretty good. And I don't have any expenses. I don't have any expenses, so. Well, I mean, I do, just like everybody else, but not like everybody else. I don't have any kids to take care of me anymore. And yeah, they're all little heathens. <laughs> I grew up, but. So, uh, it's not, uh, I guess the Lord blessed me good on this one too. Like I said, it's about a, it's a 400 and 
I think the lowest I saw it was like 438, something like that. This is the smaller one. This is the 6 CFM. So I do like this man. Check it out. So you got the little cord there, little wire. Hold on. You got the little wire here that, that clips down on there because your cord comes off. But you can take this, flip it up, and it goes right in the handle. Ain't that cool? So if you want to just leave the cord on there, you can. But if you want to take it off, you know, you just pop it up, take it off, and this comes off. And then your little house, well, see, that's kind of crazy. Why would you leave that on there? You know, they should have owned that just a little bit so you get that back in there. But, hey, I'm not going to complain, bro. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless me with a brand new vacuum pump for half price. Anyways, let's thank the Lord. Hey, uh, we're going to clean this shop, man. This shop's a mess. I'm all, I got to move the water heater into the other room. Move this big box over here. I got to move that over in the other room, too. Maybe. Or maybe just leave it there and move new wire. Anyways, I can move this over here. And then I can put the AC, the portable. I can put the portable um, underneath because there's a shelf right here. The shelf that comes off, it folds out. And then I can put my mini fridge here. And that's where I can store like uh, iced teas and stuff like that. Because it's, uh, man, it's it's got to be at least, uh, I'd say at least 85 in here right now. So, anyways, and like I said, I don't know if you guys could hear me because the mic, the mic's facing the wrong way on this GoPro. They stole this right here. Just what you can see right here, that's the, the part of the crane that I take off. They stole that. There's there's no value to that. And plus, it, the, the rail was bent on the end of it where I messed up. But I couldn't believe that they freaking did that, man. They stole that. I mean, they can't get any money for it, but no, oh well. well, that's what crack box will get you. Hey, also check this out. We're gonna try this out. You know, my mind's always racing. It comes with a hose, and it, atta it attaches down here, it attaches down here, and you hook an airline up to it, right? Well, this, I could use this for spraying inside of the coils on these furnaces because they're so bad. Oh, it even comes a little filter on there. How about that? Anyways, so I can drop this down in a bucket or my here's my spray bottle. The spray bottle has got the chemical for treating the uh, cleaning the coils up. I can use I can just put this down in there <clears throat> and uh, spray water through this onto the coil with a little bit of high pressure. I hook it up to the nitrogen tank. I get my high pressure and it'll shoot right through the coil clean it up better than, I, I can't do that water hose again that was stupid but i was desperate nah <laughs> anyways hey check this out uh there's an old lady that lives up by my mom and uh she bought this for her son and her son's in the military this it's been sitting around for years um it's one of the little little giants ladders she gave me this ladder for free. Plus, it came with the attachment board where it's like a walking plank. I couldn't believe it, man. Couldn't believe it. That right there is like $300 ladder. Plus, you got all the attachments and stuff. Anyways, I just thought it was really a God sent blessing. So, let me clean this shop up, man. Woo! I need to finish the floor up too. But, we'll see about that come Monday. Don't play around, bro.